Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mars planet. Mars is not just a red planet floating silently in space, it is a frozen Sol 1629 memory of a world that once tried to become alive and failed, and today it stands as the most mysterious neighbor of Earth, carrying scars of ancient rivers, dried oceans, violent storms, and a sky that once was thick enough to protect life, but is now thin and unforgiving making every moment on Mars a struggle between survival and extinction, where temperatures can drop lower than the coldest places on Earth, where dust storms can cover the entire planet for months, and where the surface looks calm but hides radiation, poisonous soil, and deadly isolation. Yet, despite all this danger, Mars continues to pull humanity toward it like a silent challenge, forcing scientists to ask uncomfortable questions about our own future because Mars is not only a story about another planet, it is a mirror showing what Earth could become if its atmosphere weakens, its water disappears, and its balance breaks. And as rovers crawl slowly across its ancient ground, sending images back to Earth, each rock, shadow, and crack tells a story of time measured not in years, but in billions, reminding us that Mars does not scream its secrets, but whispers them patiently through geology, chemistry, and silence making us realize that exploring Mars is not about conquest or pride, but about understanding survival itself. Because if humans ever step onto this planet permanently, they will not be visitors, but prisoners of its harsh rules, dependent on technology, discipline, and cooperation. And every mistake will cost lives, turning Mars into the ultimate test of human intelligence, unity, and endurance, where hope and fear exist together and the red dust beneath our feet becomes a reminder that the universe does not care about dreams, only preparation, adaptation, and respect for the power of nature. Mars feels less like a destination and more like a warning written across the surface of space. A planet that once held flowing water, shifting seasons, and a thicker sky, yet slowly lost everything that made survival possible, leaving behind a dry, cold world where even time itself seems to move differently because on Mars, a single day feels familiar, but the years stretch longer, the nights grow deadlier, and the thin atmosphere offers no mercy from cosmic radiation or sudden temperature collapse, forcing any future human presence to exist inside metal walls and artificial bubbles, completely cut off from nature. And this isolation is what makes Mars terrifying and fascinating at the same time, as it shows us what happens when a planet loses its protection and becomes exposed to the raw violence of the universe, turning its soil toxic, its air unbreathable, and its silence overwhelming. Yet humans continue to study Mars obsessively because somewhere beneath that red dust lies proof that life is fragile, temporary, and dependent on balance. And if Mars could change so completely, then Earth is not immune either making every mission, every rover track, and every signal sent back to Earth feel less like exploration and more like a message from the future, warning us that survival is not guaranteed and that technology alone cannot save a civilization unless wisdom, responsibility, and respect for planetary systems evolve along with it. Mars is not merely a planet that we observe through telescopes and robotic cameras. It is a deep, unsettling story frozen in red dust. A world that once stood on the edge of becoming alive, and then slowly slipped into permanent silence. And the more we study it, the more uncomfortable its story becomes. Because Mars shows us that planets do not die suddenly, but fade away, layer by layer, atmosphere by atmosphere, hope by hope, until nothing remains except cold ground and unanswered questions. And when we imagine standing on its surface, surrounded by endless deserts of iron-rich soil under a pale sky, we realize how brutally honest Mars is, offering no comfort, no forgiveness, and no second chances, where every breath must be manufactured, every drop of water recycled, and every mistake punished by nature itself. Yet, humans remain obsessed with reaching this planet, because Mars represents the ultimate test of our intelligence and discipline, forcing us to confront isolations so extreme that even Earth would feel impossibly far away, 
a tiny blue memory hanging in the darkness. And in that distance lies fear, because Mars does not just challenge our technology, it challenges our psychology, our patience, and our unity, revealing how fragile human minds and societies can become when cut off from natural air, open skies, and familiar sounds. And as dust storms erase the horizon and radiation silently damages living cells, Mars reminds us that survival is not heroic or cinematic, but slow, exhausting, and unforgiving, demanding constant awareness and respect for forces we cannot control. And this is why Mars matters so deeply, because it is not a dream world waiting to be conquered, but a grave lesson written by nature itself, teaching us that planets can lose their protection, climates can collapse, and life can vanish without drama. And if we fail to understand this message, then Mars will not be humanity's second home, but its final warning, echoing across space as proof that the universe does not adapt to us. We must adapt to it.